Welcome to the eighth video in the series, Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 different videos in 30 days. If you missed any of the previous videos, please click on the playlist link that we will provide in the video description below, as well as in the on the top right of your YouTube video, we will provide a card so you can click on it to view the complete playlist. All these templates are available for you to download from Inzara and hopefully you can visit the url that we present you on screen now and also we will put them in the video description so you can visit and download all those templates in this video we're going to talk about the london stock exchange tracker in the previous two videos we talked about the us stock market as well as the india stock market this is the third one and if there is a an, another exchange that you would like us to build a um, tracker on, please let us know and we will be happy to work on it. Right now with this video, we'll stop with the market tracker and we will move into a new, um, you know, other types of data visualization and tracking that we can do or analysis we can do with the stock market in the upcoming videos. So if, if we have missed any of the stock exchanges that you would like us, please let us know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do and please share this video with your friends who you think will can benefit from this type of content. In this video, I will cover again overall how the template uh, can be used and then I will go a little bit into what are the differences between this and the US and the Indian stock market trackers that we have previously published. Let's get started. So the first thing is there's a lot of similarity with the previous um, templates. However, one thing which is obviously missing is the uh, any kind of index or indices related to this exchange. And we know that there is this FTSE 100, FTSE you know, 250 and all that. Uh, however, we were not able to make that work within Excel, uh, which we'll we will continue to try, but it doesn't look like the data that's coming through the stocks data type in Excel is able to recognize the FTSE 100 or FTSE 250 or 350. So that's something that is we need to do it in the future. For now, we have added 351 stocks. So these are made up of the FTSE 100 and FTSE 250. So both those indices, we were able to get the individual stocks in and they seem to be pulling correctly except for one. Um, however, um, you know, the indices are not coming through, but the individual stocks are coming, so just good. Otherwise, it's a top gainers, top decliners, top actives. Everything remains the same. The currency has changed. Um, uh, apart from that, everything you know is the same functionality with the previous two trackers. The gainers, top decliners, and then the top actives, it's the same. And I think in the data sheet, which is where the, um, the 350 uh, stocks are there, and you can see, for example, which one am I not able to map I can show you there is this one thing that I'm not able to map, which is the PSSL. This is the sheet where we enter uh, all the 351 symbols. And again, it works the same way. So the data is entered at the symbols with the symbols here. And then we use formulas to populate all these other previous sheets. And again, I apologize for going quickly on this, but we explained these in the previous video. So if you have watched them, then definitely it'll be a re repeat of the same in terms of the methodology. And the thing that is different here, let me show you, for example, the one that is not available, so we can go back and check. I think it's called PSSL, and I let me try and see if what kind of message we get. It is, says there's no results found for PSSL. So this is the only one that's missing. All the other um, 350 of the stocks are available, uh, and the data is coming through, and that is what it is. And then we have one more hidden sheet where um, actually, we still have Nifty and everything here. The problem is when we do FTSC 100, um, it's something that is not able to, let me go back to the type, change. And so it, it does not, it does not pick it up. It, it has the other FTSC pieces, but these are all ETF and other things, but I, could not map it exactly. So anyway, it wasn't obvious at least. So we could not get the index values yeah, within the time frame. But 
If you are someone who has been able to get that, please let us know. Happy to update this template with the index value as well at the top. Apart from that, this is, um, you know, you go in, hit data, refresh all, and so we'll see what the refresh timing is. There we go, it got updated. Um, right now it has a negative seven hours offset. So this is specific time actually. Uh, but if we want to go back and find out what is the, uh, let's see, instead of the IST, if we want to try UK time uh, or London, there we go, London, UK. And so I can see that you, the UTC is zero hours ahead of GMT. So that means I should not be putting any offset, so I should do zero offset. So the data that we are looking at right now is as of 11.59 p.m. Um, London time, and that's what it is. And you can go ahead and refresh whenever you need to refresh this data in the tracker. So with that, we have come to the end of this video. Uh, as I said, from tomorrow's video, we will be going into other areas within the stock market. Uh, but if you have any stock exchange or any um, suggestions um, on this specific topic about looking at the stock market, looking at an exchange at a whole, please post them in the comment section. We'll be happy to address them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with the new content.